Minnesota's top health officials call the latest COVID surge scary and alarming. Today, the state's Department of Health reported more than 5,200 cases of COVID. 43 more people died. Kate Raddatz shares what's behind the recent surge. State health officials called on Minnesotans, regardless of vaccination status, to do their part to help get the current COVID-19 case surge and pressure on the state's hospitals under control. Delta has changed the landscape. And so, yes, it's really important that all of us, including those of us that are vaccinated, layer our mitigation. We want to make sure that we're masking, that we're testing as appropriate, that we're, you know, distancing. MDH says the recent surge is the result of a combination of factors, including the contagious nature of the Delta variant and waning immunity as people get further out from their first vaccine doses. It's the relaxation of, of mitigation um, by a lot of people in a lot of circumstances, a lot more circulating going on um, without masking and so forth. Um, cold weather, more indoors. MDH also announced the state is opening a second alternative care site that will be for patients that no longer need emergency care but are not well enough to return home. It's to help relieve some pressure on the state's hospitals. As Minnesotans finalize their Thanksgiving plans, health officials encourage people to take advantage of testing options and use the known mitigation strategies like wearing a mask, regardless of vaccination status due to the high transmission in the state. This spike is bad. It's scary, but it would be so much worse, especially with many, many more hospitalizations and deaths, would, it would be so much worse if it weren't for the fact that most Minnesotans now do have the protection of the vaccine. Kate Raddatz, WCCO 4 News. Health officials said the best layer of protection for the holidays is the vaccine. The new timeline for approving a vaccine for children under the age of five is early 2022.